Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome to Hollywood Animal. This is another Steam Next Fest demo that I am very eager to take a look at. I've seen a couple of videos, watched a couple of some of my favorite streamers play this game, and I think it's going to be one that you're going to want to pay attention to as well. Now, Hollywood Animal goes a little bit beyond your traditional film industry tycoon game it has a lot of rpg elements and a lot of uh, a lot of depth that i was surprised to see in such a demo super excited to get into it There's a couple of things i want to address right off the bat first if you want to support the channel you can definitely do so right away by giving the video a like subscribing to the channel and of course leaving those comments in the comment section as i play but second one of the first things that you would have seen when you first pop this up is that there is a deal of uh realism in this and so we are talking about the early film industry over on that side of the world and at that period of time as such we will see discrimination we will see uh, a wide range of things that were just prevalent in the film industry and as a result it may be a little bit uncomfortable at times or it may be saying oh wow my goodness really like is that really in this game however i have to applaud the developers for sticking with it and doing things a little bit more by the book in this instance where they do want to portray a sense of realism uh, considering the time and era in which this took place. So just a little forewarning there. I don't know what we will see to the extent. I do know that there is a bit of uh, racism, for instance. So we're going to see some of that. We're going to see a bunch of discrimination towards potentially women in the industry, things of that nature. So just something to be looking out for. All right. Well, we need a new game. New Year 1929, the hedonism of the 20s gives way to the Great Depression. Mm, digging the art style already. It's one of the reasons why I like this game. The advent of talkies heralds the golden age of Hollywood and gives way to cinema. Film companies fiercely compete for market and influence the strong devour the weak. You purchase a bankrupt studio to build a new business on its ruins. Nice. Oh, snap. I get to name my own thing. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm digging the elephant. We're going to rock with the elephant. Oh, and what are we going to name it? Here's a cheeky little thing in the room. Studios. Get it? There's an elephant in the room. All right. That's pretty lame, but you know what? I'm tired, uh, <laughs> but I'm really excited to play this. Let's get to it. Movies are not only made by uh, actors and directors. Your film studio also employs people who quietly keep the machine running behind the scenes. What are their names? All right. So we can do, we can do some great things here. So, Fred Lawson, no, we're going to name him Nexus after our primary supporter on the channel. Of course, there's a female in the room, the Chief Communications Officer, so that's going to be our good friend, Raratus. Always happens to be that way, and I don't think it's going to change. And then our Chief Financial Officer, we're going to go with Crystal, uh, Crystalliorn. All right, very cool. So, age 33, 44, and 42, hope that doesn't matter. Along uh, with other studio grounds, you receive footage from an unfinished movie. Filming was completed, but it was never edited. You'll need to compete, uh, complete the picture. What is this movie? <laughs> Limp and Luke? Blind Love or The Messenger of Death? Oh, I go with The Messenger of Death. All right. Events. The prison break. Gloomy morning. Seven Quentin bounty prisoners stunned their guards, snuck in a warehouse, and escaped. Most of the fugitives were serving for theft and assault, but one of them was a true menace. The antagonist, the prisoner's name is Nick Crow, but the papers all call him the courier. He brought flowers to young women, then killed them. After five murders, the police captured the courier on a lucky break, never able to determine his motives. Maniac's first victim was his own fiance. Choice of the rest of the girls seems random. Very next day, the courier already returned to his old ways, dressed like a messenger. He delivered flowers to young Rita Peterson and stabbed her to death. Wow. Bill Zeman, Rita's uh, fiancé, returned to work that evening and find his love dead on the floor. His own desperate screams echo through the neighborhood. Nick Crow is played by Edward Peterson. All right, Edward Peterson. Our protagonist is a uh, detective named Bill. Had little faith in local police, so hired him private investigator Harry Burroughs. Harry was a young man, had sharp wits and keen mind. Rita and I just got engaged, Bill offered helplessly. The police had already taken away the body, but the bouquet of roses still remain on the floor. Compliments of the courier. Harry Burroughs is played by Joe Duvall, who a very sinister looking man himself. Great list of supporting characters looked around the house and talked to the neighbors. Couldn't catch a lead. Contact Kathy Watts, a journalist who covered the courier murder. She came right away, carrying a healthy file. Hefty file. After the previous murders, I talked to Crow's friends and learned about a cheap old shack. It's past the city limits. I told the police about the place. They just brushed me off. They figured the case was already closed. 
Bessie Patterson plays Kathy Watts. Right in the search for the killer, naturally, they go to the house. It was broken down. Um, obviously unsuitable to live in. As Harry's car approached, the stranger took off running towards the woods. He drew his gun. The man was already gone. We scared him off. Let's have a look inside. The shack was practically empty. A carved wooden box drew Harry and Kathy's attention. <laughs> What's in the box? Oh, six diamond rings. Okay, never mind. Trophies. Oh, there's a connection. Rita Pearson Peterson was recently engaged. The courier was engaged to his first victim. What about the rest of the girls? All the victims were soon getting married. All right. Remember, this is the 1920s here. Two couples surface. Rita and Bill, a tragedy already familiar to us. Also, a certain Sandy Wick, uh, Wick and her fiancé, Tom. Yes, some messenger came with a bouquet of roses. No card, no note, just a bouquet. Decided it must be some kind of mistake, and I didn't take the flowers. The messenger just apologized and left. Harry immediately had a plan. He and Kathy hired a photographer. Posed for engagement photos. <laughs> this is great. Advertised their own engagement. Uh, paid an extra $10 to have the photo printed. At noon, there was a knock. Kathy opened it. There stood Nick Crow, the courier, smiling nervously. This is from a secret admirer. She feigned delight, took the bouquet, and Miranda put it in a vase, leaving the door wide open. He stepped in the house, pulled out his knife, and then felt a pistol to his temple. I love it. Gloria grew wild. You don't understand. Two years ago, I was supposed to marry my dear Rachel when suddenly she starts uh, receiving anonymous bouquets. I became jealous, but she just laughed and accepted them, no matter how many or how secret they might be. One week later, and I caught her in some jerk's car. All these animals are the same. First, they say it's only flowers. Then they break your heart. They deserve to be punished. Courier won't be delivering any more flowers. This time, he was sentenced to the electric chair. Harry added another win to the list. Kathy wrote a book about the courier. She called it the messenger of death wow this shows the movie's commercial appeal the higher it is the more easily a film will succeed that's great movie's artistic appeal the higher it is the more recognition can be expected a film's commercial and artistic appeal may uh, change after each stage of development the film received these ratings after work on the script was completed the screenwriter maurice fox loves to write detective stories thanks to his experience and talent the investigation turned out uh, yeah turned out to be suspenseful and intriguing Story's elements came together to form a coherent whole. All right, very nice. After pre-production, the film's ratings rose even higher. Casting famous actors is a sure way to boost commercial and artistic appeal, of course. But other factors must influence the ratings, including quality scenery, modern equipment. You got it. After the production phase, the commercial appeal declined. Lead actor became seriously ill. He couldn't fight. Uh, he couldn't fight and looked too thin. However, the film's artistic appeal grew. Joe Duvall tried to make up for the lack of physique with the subtlety of his acting. Production problems were reflected in the lengthened schedule. The actor passed away after finishing the work on the film. Oh my word. Wow. Dang. So this is super involved. That's a really cool movie card. I love this though. They spent $431,000 on the picture. Isn't the final budget as work on the film's not yet complete. This is how the creators of The Messenger of Death imagine their potential audience. When you start shooting your own pictures, you'll identify your own. It's a subtle psychological thriller with a dark atmosphere, engaging dialogue. The film's adult are, uh, audience are adult men and women, people who enjoy a serious tone and an intricate plot. And here is our studio. Time to send the footage to post-production. We're going to click on the movie card. Still love the art style. Assign employees to handle editing and scoring. Personnel are not the most qualified, but over time their skills will grow. No worries there. Uh, so let's go... They aren't very happy. And why aren't they happy? Well, he's an alcoholic for one. He does have a good amount of loyalty, though. Let's go ahead and put him in there. And then what about a composer? Um, He costs a lot more. But it looks like he is better. He's racist. Despite, uh, despises people with the wrong skin tone, nose shape, or eye shape. Wow. Well, in that case, we are going to go with Lee Woods. We need to decide who will develop the film, record music, and sound effects. No worries. Film development, I don't know how much money we have, but they can get it done quicker and um, in better quality. So there's that. Music recording will take a few more days and is quite more, uh, but the music I think is, let's see what this does. Like I, it's going to cost 36 grand and 37 days to do it, but I think we'll be okay. We're going to roll with them. All right. We plan out post-production, but until you assign a department head, you won't be able to get things moving. Well, let's do it. Hire new employees, find an HR director. All right, so we have a chief financial communications and legal. We need a human resources officer. This is six grand a month. Wow, has no loyalty and little happiness. We're gonna go with Ray Ford. Yes, nice, okay, cool. 
So we've done that. Higher missing department heads, post-production head, a distributions head, and a maintenance head. All right, head of maintenance, level two. Well, yeah, he's the cheapest, almost the cheapest of the options. Yeah, no, we're going to roll with him. Admittedly, we're going to be hemorrhaging a lot of money a month. All right, we got Irving Elliott. He's a level two. He's the only level two. Now, he doesn't have a lot of loyalty, but none of these guys do, it seems. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know what this bonus does. I can't tell, but we're going to roll with it. Post-production has begun. Yeah, that's why I wanted to do them like really quick. Sweet. So we have 5 million buckaroonies, which is really nice. Let's go. Why is he so cheap? I don't know why he's so cheap. Maybe we'll find out in a little bit. And then we have distribution that we need to work worry about. So that's all well and good. We need a script document. It's time to work on a new movie. While wow, we're already just going to jump right on into it, don't are we? A script department. We're going to start construction. What, no building can be touching here? Like, come on, what, what's that about? All right, developers. Yeah, I know we're definitely going to chunk out for the right thing. Awesome. Okay. Well, I think we're pretty much done with all of our main... Oh, never mind. Speed or slow down the passage of time. Yeah, okay. Here we go. We can see the messenger of death is going through production. Anything else I can do here? There is not. We're rocking and rolling. After five weeks and a take of $529,000, or 72 Evergreen Movies has concluded its distribution of a week before Christmas. Gurton Stein Brothers has released He Kept His Back Straight. Evergreen Movies has released all his defeats. All right. Interesting. So it's cool to see all the different uh, studios all releasing their stuff. All right. What's up? I got divorced a couple of years ago. Figured I was out of chances until I met Gilda. We spent all of our time together. We can't get enough. It's always like that in the beginning. Uh, we've been together for a year now. I feel guilty even to mention it, but when Gilda visits me at work, I absolutely cannot concentrate. She enraptures me. Yesterday, I nearly made a mistake in the paperwork that could have cost the studio a lot of money. Please do me a favor. Help me fight this addiction. Let's introduce some kind of access control so she can't just walk into my office. My heart will be broken, like any drug addict, but I'd hate to hurt your business. No, I appreciate that. What is his current happiness? His happiness is at 54 and his loyalty. Uh, we're going to do, we'll start controlling access. Got to fight our addictions, man. That can't, that can't happen. Sweet. The movie's ready. Total production is $476,000. 467000 excuse me. And we did see a decent de decrease, but that's okay. Everything you could has a low-level employees in tech. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm okay. I understand. Sweet. It looks like people get experience. Ooh, what do we want? I don't know why that has barbed wire. Let's go with that one. Distribution. Let's take a look-see. Oh, we can choose when to release it. The release calendar displays all the films being shown across America. Studio's previous owners already chose a release date. You'll choose the release date of the next film yourself. Okay, so we're kind of in the tail end of two of them. You don't just own a studio, but a whole network of 90, uh, 91 cinemas. Uh, you can run your films and your cinemas for free, but that's not going to be enough to reach a wide audience. You'll have to rent other theaters if you want solid box office. Okay, that makes sense. Studio's previous owners arranged this and paid the film's rental costs. In the first week, the film is scheduled to be shown 70, uh, 7,185 times. 3,200 of those will take place in your own cinemas, leaving 4,000 across others. Next time, you'll have to plan for this and pay for the rental cost yourself. Screenings are scheduled four weeks from release once they expire. You can extend your rentals if the film's still making a profit. Start printing the film. Distribution goes all at once when they finish printing. Printing speed and cost vary by contractor, just like anything else in this game so far. All right, it looks like we have some advertising. Typically, a film begins to produce promotions a few weeks, so the advertising is gaining momentum. Bills being promoted by an ad agency. It's time to tell them the audience they should target. Previous owners paid for the promotion of three films. After that, you'll have to arrange for advertising. Obviously, for adults. Audiences will soon be watching the first film. Good luck. I appreciate it. You asked me, mess if, uh, or you asked me, Messenger of Death is a surefire hit farewell film by a young star. Story is a soul, but it will also go to waste unless it's released at the right moment. They were mindful. They scheduled production carefully, right when the public would be hungry. When the old studio closed, those parasites from uh, Margin Studio decided Messenger of Death would never see light of day. Convinced all the theater uh, owners to give them our slots. The film the Marginas uh, are releasing instead doesn't even have a title yet. Probably something like Yesterday's Fart or Wet Armpits. The truth is on our side. We have all the documents. But a court battle would be long and pointless. We'll miss the moment, and no compensation will cover that. Instead, I suggest we use all of our connections, all our influence, and remind the theater owners that our agreements are to be honored. Yeah, let's remind the theater that that was, uh, that was our agreement. You can spend uh, influence points to advance your interests and solve problems. Okay. All right. We're advertising. We're packaging up. We're doing all the things. The script department is slowly building. 
Are there any more buildings that we can build ourselves? Probably not. Instruction of the script department is going according to plan. There's a small snag. According to the architect's vision, a large red leaf maple should be the central decorative element. Contractors found a suitable tree and a reserve on the border between Ontario and Minnesota and agreed on a price and transportation. But the inspector is playing coy. He says he can't say how long the paper will take. Maybe a week, maybe a month or two. Sometimes you got to grease the gears. 200 cash and the tree will be on the uh, road to California. Don't want our plans disrupted. Please, it's 200 bucks. No, that'll probably come back to bite us, but 200 bucks is 200 bucks. Oh, okay, so we have different stuff. When the situation gets tricky, cash is king. I got you. No, that's still fine. All right, so we are still hemorrhaging quite a bit, but we'll we'll make it up. Construction's completed of a script department in full condition, and he's not happy at all. We'll go with him. 1400 bucks a month. I think that'll work for us. Choose your favorite genres. This is the writing team will specialize in. Uh, I just don't know the history. Well, that's not true. We have things like Ben Hur and and stuff like that, uh, and westerns. I don't. Are those considered historicals? I wouldn't think so. Let's go with uh, action films. Let's go with. I don't really know that comedies were a thing back then, so I don't know if there's going to be any any audience for that. I love action thrillers, and we'll go with we'll go with romance. Those seem to be what the people like. Here are the screenwriters remaining from the studio staff. What are their names? We do have one last person. We'll just call him Paul. Uh, Felix Hill, Walter West. I'm okay with those for sure. To begin work on a new script, select the script department. Department worked up several ideas for the first script. Okay. Ooh, I like all of these, uh, except for this one. Choose any idea you like, and a screenwriter will develop into a full script. We're going to go with an action cop. Oh, we already just did that. We don't want to do that again. Let's do a drama daring adventure in the modern American town. We need to go with, we did we did an action, a daring adventure. So I feel like this is more along the line. Start writing, good sir. 67 days, no worries there. So we can just hit escape. Fantastic, continue development of your film. Pick an upgrade for the department. Oh, we have a tech tree. No matter who is working on your script, no one knows better than you what a film needs to be successful. Story workshop, okay. Some improvements will take a while. Department hands will in time. Learn to speed up the process, so it's wise to hold on to your experienced employees. How long will it take? No, we don't need any of that. 50 days, that's what it's going to take. We need to build a production apartment and build a pre-production apartment. Again, I don't remember how to build. Here we go. We need pre-production and production. No worries there. Hand-picked actors and directors, select seats and tech and more. Man alive, we're just we're not able to build. Eventually, we're going to run out of room, right? Or we're going to be able to purchase more land? Maybe we'll be able to purchase more land, but like, I, I really need I need y'all guy you guys to chill out with this stuff. Uh, we're going to always start construction and be it at a hundred percent. Okay, the premiere Joe Duvall and the Messenger of Death at a tagline. <laughs> knock knock. Wow, I can't think of is that right? Who's there? <laughs> Release the film. I don't know if taglines ever have anything to do with it, but we'll see. Kino Mark rating system measures audience reviews on the day of the premiere. If you sure to re release a quality film, but people aren't appreciating it, you may lured the wrong audience. Well, they absolutely loved it. Fascinating farewell. It's a tragedy. The film's title would turn out to be so prophetic. A movie that constantly keeps you in suspense. You might find it difficult to sit through a brutal and chilling film. Exciting film story whose title mirrors the tragic fate of the film's star. Could this be a coincidence? Oh, sweet. Jeez. Awesome. Everyone gets some solid experience in. There we go. Spend another 27 grand printing film copies. So the real question is, how is it selling? Can we take a look at this? I guess we can't really see what it's doing just yet. That's okay. Don't know how to get out of this. <laughs> there we go. All right, what do we have going on here? Oh, we have a whole bunch of people to hire. Okay, that's super fun. Build a production office. Yeah, we are going to just be, I think, uh, just like super duper hemorrhaging for a little bit. I think we're always going to have to go with the good, with the good things here. Well, let's go ahead and hit it then. A PR department. Any theaters you own will earn you influence points. It'll take three years. Opens a services department. Maintain the ethnic composition of the studio staff. This is all really interesting stuff. A $500,000 loan or a 22% interest. Heck no. Mid-level legal protection. Raise the quality of your legal protection from low to average. Is that going to cost anything? I don't know if that's what we need to do, but I feel like that is what we need to do. We're auto-saving the messenger. Death has already grossed six wow like a crap ton six hundred and fifty thousand dollars what all right let's keep it rolling that is mind-blowing 
Borrowed a little money from some people. They seemed like good guys. They had honest eyes. They're a great judge of people. Now I got some annoying jerk is following me around, uh, demanding I pay off the debt. I return the whole amount, but I need a little time to recoup. You might be strong, but the card's are always stronger. It's all nonsense, by the way. I'll show the cards who's boss. Can you? So can you let me go for a couple months while I sort this mess out? That's fine. He's not our script writer that we're using anyways. The first four weeks were successful. The film's still making a lot of money. Uh, we're paying in, uh, more than the box office rental fees. We'll make a lot more if we extend our distribution plan. Click extend distribution. Keep playing the movie for another four weeks. Yeah, no, that's totally fine. So uh, it's gone down a bit. But I still think after that, well, actually, I don't know that that's going to work. Because if, oh no, hold on. If we're grossing, yeah, we'll gross. Yeah, that's fine. We'll extend the distribution for a bit. And we'll be good there. Sweet. So we basically made all of our money back. Pre-production, handpick actors and directors. Sweet. Hire the head for pre-production. His happiness is just heckin' poor. Let's go with Leland Mills. Mainly because I don't want to pay another 1800 bucks. These actors remain at the studio after it changed ownership. Jane Fisher, Sarah Frid, Russell Simmons. <laughs> Russell Simmons. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and roll with that. Um, here we go there. And then directors. Oh my word. These are the directors that stayed. Great. So it is good to know that they like stayed afterwards. Casting office. A scouting office. Sets and prop. Yeah, I feel like that's going to make a huge difference. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this already, but that's fine. The legendary Lydia Globe is back in the saddle. Nearly. Yeah, honey. I know you expected me to start a new film right away. But getting used to this taking longer than I expected. You got to understand, a bird that's used to flying in the clouds can't just dive down to the bottom of the ocean without a little preparation first. I'm doing speech exercises with the masters of the stage, stretching out my vocal cords, drinking egg cocktails, getting that velvety voice in the morning so you can already notice a difference. That's right, honey. So please, I'm begging you, and I mean really begging you, give me three more months to get ready for the first talking role. You'll see, your patience will pay off. No, we'll go ahead and do that. That's fine. We do have other actresses. And that makes satiate her and make her a better actress anyways. Script department upgrades the story workshop building. Okay. Nice. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do sequels. But new story elements I think would be good. So we're going to go ahead and roll with that one. We need to build a story workshop. You mind genres, characters, and plot twists. Yeah, we'll definitely do that. Oh, cool. We can upgrade it within the department itself. Did I not hit the right button? There we go. Uh, can I not see the details here? No, I'd really like to see the whole breakdown of the financials of how the film's doing. I hear Lydia Globe was coming out of retirement. Or what I actually heard was that she never retired at all. She just went off work. It's too much to hope for. The greedy woman finally did retire. There's a lot of ounce. Got to be an ounce of justice. All right. Well, Jane Fisher clearly doesn't like her. She emphasized that even her most insignificant accomplishments and demands more respect than she merits. Jane Fisher, we're going to have to tighten you up. All right. We can't be having none of that here. All right, production. We can make movies, freaking finally. All right, what do we need to do here? We got a level two boil for 1400 a month. I can handle that compared to the other people. We need to build a level one soundstage. Can this go anywhere? The script revolt results for Jack and his quartet, not so great comparatively. But he gets a little bit of a boost. Sweet, he got to a new level. I really don't like that the supporting character or the antagonist is... A serial killer. We've already had that happen. The themes and events is a jousting tournament. What? Antagonist repents. In a modern American town. What? We're going to have to shelve that. There's no way we're going to shelve it. I'm sorry. Um, We need to start a new project. I got to delete it. Like, that's real bad. All right. Well, let's do... Romance in the Wild West with a clumsy oaf. Yeah, let's do that. That works for me. Uh, what is this? Wild West romance. Neither of these guys. I guess the Wild West could be action-y. Yeah, we got an action and a thriller. I guess we're doing another cop one. Let's go there. Start writing that one, if you would, please, sir. And we could have him do it, but that's a... He doesn't have a least favorite genre, so it may not be too bad. Let's go ahead and have you write... Well, that's a thriller... Ah, oh, let's do this. Fine. How much is it going to cost? I don't think it'll cost much. All right, we're going to do that. We need to hire another script writer, I feel. We need someone who's really good with romances. 
and it doesn't seem like anyone is here. Well, let's go ahead and hire this guy. Nope, I don't want to take on another person. Just kidding. Synopses, ideas, finished scripts, uh, detective in the fantasy kingdom. I just don't think that's going to work. Let's go ahead and we'll just try and write a script and see what happens. All right, cool. I mean, we're already using them. Distribution results for the messenger of death. All right, we are going to end distribution. Uh, it's it's really fallen off. That's not going to be uh, anything we want to do. Very nice. Audience is 17.75 million people. The expenses were 815 grand, but we made 2.4. Brilliant. Absolutely love. It. Was pondering over the pile of documents we inherited, came across something rather interesting. Turns out the previous studio promised the late do a Joe Duvall 25% of the box office for the film Messenger of Death. Seems this condition was added at the last minute. It was introduced as an amendment just a few days before his death. No one even warned us about it. Apparently, the Duvall family doesn't even know about it. What difference should I make uh, over to them? Over his five-year career, the guy starred in eight hits. His inheritance should be enough for several generations. Not that it ever would. The only people enjoying his money are his drunk father and two aunts. Oh, box office should have uh, take has been substantial. We owe him 800 grand. No, this conversation never happened. No, we're not going to give that to his family. Yeah, I figured there'd be a secret here. We pocketed Joe Duvall's earnings from the final film. Sometimes you may have to cross the line. Be a matter of legality. Could be morality. The more terrible the secret, the greater the consequences of it should come out. People like to talk, so your secrets could come out. Scale shows the probability that they'll be leaked. You can simply bide your time, or you can entrust the matter to gentlemen from the security department. Let's get security in. Security. Let's do it. This is where your secrets are kept safe. Where is security? Did we already... We're building a soundstage right now. Let's go to advanced. I need security, please. Wow, that's a big department. Yeah. Yeah. We're definitely... We're definitely going to build some security here. What is the advanced things that we can do? Producer's office, maintenance, and engineering. We already have a maintenance building. I don't think we have an engineering building, though. So that's intriguing. Revolutionize your filmmaking tech. Oh, snap. And we also have electricity and water consumption, by the way. So I don't know what that's about. All right. Combine genre characters and plot twists to create your own stories. Fantastic. Let's create a new type. Name the movie. We're going to go with Ben-Hur. One of my favorite smaller films. Uh, let's, I say smaller. <laughs> let's go with, oh goodness. What would Ben-Hur actually have been? Let's go with 40% historical, 60% action. Interesting. So we could do a fantasy kingdom. I see now. That's really cool. Uh, okay, let's, let's do the Wild West. That's fine. Protagonist is uh, a cowboy, right? Protagonist is the good guy. The antagonist, yes, okay. We're going to go with a knight. Yes, we could. Uh, we're going to go with the cowboy, naturally. Can we change the... Oh, we can't change the gender. The antagonist, we're going to go with a, a bandit. Supporting characters. Let's go with... We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Um, this isn't going to be Ben-Hur. We're just going to call it Sundown. Themes and events... A shootout, naturally. Oh, we can have multiple supporting characters. Okay, cool. A sidekick, and uh, let's do a damsel in distress. Interesting. So we have to... Very cool. There we go. Protagonist dies heroically. That's going to be a good one. I'm not sold on the historical side, though. We're going to go an action adventure. We're going to do it pretty even. There we go. Sweet. Select the script writer. Well, I don't have a script writer. So I need... I, I gotta have a script writer, right? Okay, well, let's get out of there. Uh, save the synopsis. Yeah, we'll send to the archive. Uh, where is my script writing? Story workshop. Completed the level one soundstage. Fantastic. Soundstage one. We'll say it's soundstage alpha. How about that? That sounds cool. Uh, what? Oh, because they're all working. Okay, never mind. That's right. I had them all do actual things. Shocker. We're going to wait till Felix Hill gets back. There we go. Return from vacation. Hopefully he got all of his crap figured out. Oh no, the secret leaked. You dastards. Management in the room studio concealed the details of an agreement which stated Joe Duvall should receive 25% of the earnings. We are simple people. Um, 
Oh no, we don't understand paperwork, but that don't mean they can count us hillbillies. Uh, I told these a-holes in their suits they'll regret trying to trick the Duvalls. Yeah, that dude can hardly speak straight. Ted Duvall and his two sisters burst from the waiting room and started yelling, demanding they meet with you. I explained it's impossible. They only yelled louder. Called call security in the end. Duvall threw a note in my face. Apparently it was intended for you. You rat thief. You think you can make money out of me? Make a monkey out of me? You're just the smartest guy in the world. That's what you think. But you're not. You give us a million bucks or we're going to sue. Uh, no, we'll see them in court. Sucker. That's fine. That is totally fine. Uh, where's my script stuff? Story workshop. Let's go with ideas. No, we, we're, we're calling this the sun dance. I didn't want to say Ben-Hur. There we go. Sun's going down. We got all of our Wild West. Oh, no, we got to start over with this. Okay. Th nope. There we go. Cool. Select screenwriter. We do have this guy. His favorite genre is romance. That's okay. Writing time is 63 days. Let's get to it, my young man. All right. Well, it does look like we do have some scripts ready. Nope. That's the storybook. We don't want the storybook. I want actual scripts. Yeah, crap. Ted Duvall versus... In the room studios. Chief Legal Officer Nexus thinks we uh, robbed. Uh, Ted Duvall thinks we robbed and took advantage of him. He's demanding his son share the film proceed plus compensation for moral damages. Uh, probability of success. We're going to try it. The court will be influenced. That's fine. Save the changes. All right. We're going to see what happens. 13 days. We'll find out if anything does. All right. Did we finish any scripts? Oh, I thought we did. Oh, no, we are. That's right. We are working on three. Goodness gracious. There's been so much that's gone on. It's a bit wild here. Post-production. What is that? Directors, editors, uh, sound studio opens the sound studio building. We're developing film right on the ground studios. Let's go with the sound one. We go with that sound studio. That'll work pretty well. What about broadcasting and distribution? Marketing and outreach opens the marketing and outreach. Looks like we can't do any of these outside of a printing office. Duplicates of your film in five weeks. We're going to go with the marketing outreach department over there. What do we have here? Level two soundstage. Shooting on location more comfortable. Gives you control over the film schedule. Uh, let's make shooting on on, on uh, in our own place a little more comfortable. What do we have for maintenance? Oh, so this is the thing. Like We are supposed to have like a water and electric meter somewhere but we're not doing that and maybe that's just not in here in the demo maybe it's not implemented medium landscaping i don't think that's necessary we can go with a power plant provide our own electricity or get a water tower going and neither of those are quick and easy we're just going to upgrade the medium landscaping cool well we got things going on non-stop we are a little bit behind in terms of releasing a film but i wanted something that was going to be good and not garbage all right, trial will take place tomorrow. Probability of success, we are finished. Ted Duvall versus the room. Oh no, we lost. We got to pay a million bucks. That's fine, whatever. Published a text under the headline, Duvall's triumph portrayed as a hero stood up to a greedy film company. That's fine, we'll figure it out. Our reputation went down by 10, which is a lot. That's basically 20%. But it be what it be, we'll make everything back. I have no I, I, have, I have no doubts. All right, sand in my eyes. Got a 1.2, a 1.1. Oh, crap. That's terrible. Evil witch and a sidekick. This is hilarious. We're going to start the project. I don't even care at this point. I love it. This isn't going to resonate at... Actually, you know what? Hmm. I wonder if this is like... Yeah, I wonder if this is almost like The Wizard of Oz. I bet we could bet we could pull it that way. There are places where the events of the film take place. Characters spend most of their time on location. Uh, the characters spend most of their time in locations highlighted in gold. Only minor scenes will be filmed at secondary locations. You need to decide which should be shot on a soundstage and which should be filmed on location. Select the qual location quality. On a soundstage, location quality involves the film equipment, scenery, and design. Outdoors, the emphasis is on the beauty and authenticity of the natural scenes. If you plan to film some of the scenes on the soundstage, select which soundstage you want to use. Okay, cool. The cinematographer. We're going to roll with uh, Thomas Morrison. We're going to use soundstage alpha. I think these need to be on the soundstage. And this needs to be on location. But no, get this. Fantasy Kingdom, Detective, Historical Adventure. Hopeless Romantic, I guess, isn't uh, not necessarily uh, there. But uh, the female character is an evil witch. 
sidekick you well, i guess the protagonist could almost be like the lion if we want to think about it that way uh because he also has self-doubt um because supporting characters as a sidekick a shootout i wouldn't say there's necessarily a shootout in the wizard of oz um we're gonna do the wizard of ooze there we go all right and then what am i waiting on oh the forest okay fairy tale creature settlement that's gonna be in the studio a monster's lair we're gonna do onset Total filming time is the sum of all filming days at each location, plus Saturdays and Sundays in between. Okay, that's going to take a while. All right, filming tech. We only have the dupler. Dupler? Dupler? We only have the sonotone. How much will that extend things? Yeah, we need it. We, I don't know what we'll be able to balance. It's going to cost $360,000. I'm going to be lucky to get any of this back. What are you? You're a gambler? Wants nothing more than to even the scales and win back everything that he lost during the previous attempts to win back everything that he lost during his previous attempts to win back everything that he lost. Uh, no, we'll go with uh, Vincent Brooks, the director. We're going to look at uh, Anthony Campbell. The protagonist is a drug addict and undisciplined, but she's also conceited. Oh, the protagonist, love interest, sidekick, single parent, Finn Fatale. No, we'll go with Jane Fisher. Supporting actors. Uh, who's the supporting actor? A sidekick. Have you been a sidekick? You have been a sidekick. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to do you as someone different. Because he's really good. I want him in my cowboy role that I'm developing right now. We'll go with David Gutman. And then the evil witch will be Sarah uh, Frit. To begin pre-production, you need to officially stamp and approve your plans. Uh, we're going to go right there in the middle. Start on the project. Lydia Globe, I feel my voice cards cords strengthening. Oh, this is uh, Lydia Globe. My timber's developing, and I'm honing in my direction. Soon will be star of the stage as well as the screen. Professional growth takes time. Could you give me another? No, we're not. No. Show business won't wait. No. Screw you. Sorry. She returns to the big screen to gain regain her former glory, or at least that's what she is seriously hoping. Don't start without me. Wow, that one's so much better. Oh my word, are you serious right now? That's such a good script. A cop murderer, femme fatale searching for a killer, antagonist gets punished. Oh, I don't know that we have enough people here. You can always change your mind about this project and cancel it. The script will be shelved until a more opportune moment arises. Okay, thank you for letting me know that. Uh, we're going to cancel the project and the script will go back on the shelf. You can return to it later. Fantastic. I don't want to hemorrhage too much. This one isn't bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Great. Some solid experience all around. Thriller romance, Wild West, clumsy oaf, murderer, avenging loved ones, antagonist gets punished. There doesn't seem to be any women in this one, and we have more men. So let's go ahead and start that project. Cinematographer, all we have is Harry Ray. We actually don't have a sound stage. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to cancel that one. We only have one sound stage. Of course, we could build another one. We now have security as well. Let's go with the guy who's freaking loyal, please. For our security. Like, that makes sense. All right, we're moving a little fast. We can develop new story elements in the uh, workshop. Very nice. Story elements in the story workshop. What does that mean? When working on a story, you can use up to six story elements. We'll, we'll figure that out later. Uh, let's go ahead and go slower a little bit. I do want to make another sound stage. The production of The Wizard of Oz is ready to rumble. Excuse me, The Wizard of Ooze. Wow, that really upgraded it quite a bit. I absolutely love it. Great experience, too. The quality of the film was affected by all of those there. That's great. All right, so we need to add a little bit of security. We actually don't have any staff. That's fine. We'll start production there. We do need to add some staff, though. What do we got here? We need some loyal folks. Yeah, we really need some loyal folks. Like, loyalty matters a whole lot to me. Do we have any level two guys that are loyal? We do. He's just uh, very, very unhappy. There we go. I think that'll be fine for the time being. All right. Sun's going down. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. I think this is going to resonate really, really well. Benny West is just a super good dude. The script's ratings are even higher than the writer's score because of how well the elements fit together. Yes, that's what I figured. Action Cowboy, most successful combos. That's great to know. No, we're going to start on the project now. Although, oh no, I only have six days. I can't do it. 
Yep, we can, we got to shelve it just for the time being until I build my second soundstage. That's all. Thrilling Crimes published shocking uh, photos of the deceased Ted Duvall and his two sisters, father and the aunts of the famous act actor Joe Duvall. Police found their bodies in the swimming pool in the grounds of the country houses. Believe their cause of death to have been low-quality heroin. Makes me even more frustrated that I dropped money on those dudes. Sweet. Level 1 sound, sound stage is ready to go. We're going to go soundstage Bravo. I love using military uh, vernacular. There we go. Start construction on that one. And then we have the sound stage, which is great. Let's go back to our... Oh, no, this isn't the scripts, is it? Nope, we're not creating a new one. We have the script department. Yeah, we're going to start on this one. We are going to do, unfortunately, kind of the lower quality boyo. Soundstage Bravo. We're going to work on that. The prairies, Wild West interiors can all be on the inside. Farm, mountains and forest are all on location. Filming tech, sound tech are the same. We are going to do extras and we're going to have enough crew. We have our producer, which isn't the best, but that's okay. Here we go. This is what I like to see. Yeah. This is going to be great. Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I forgot I named him Keanu Reeves. Um, he is a leader, and he's also hot-tempered. That's okay. Not the, like the real Keanu Reeves. Have you been a sidekick before? Gabriel Rutowski. Absolutely. And then the bandit. Has he been a bandit before? He's been a serial killer, which I think is close enough. The cost of filming and the total cost of production. Uh, no, that's fine. Yep, we're good with that. It's going to cost a pretty penny, but I think it'll do well. All right, Benny West, what's up? Have you heard of the Wandering Malcolm? God knows what his real name is. Uh, everyone just calls him Wandering Malcolm. For four years straight, he's been knocking at the door of every film studio script under his arm. He's an odd one, sometimes really noisy. Sometimes he calms down and gets all sad, sits smoking by the side of the road. Says he's afraid if someone will steal his brilliant ideas, he only agrees to sell for a thousand cash money in advance. This morning, he literally jumped on top of my car. I even managed to get a look at the title of his film, Rotten Fates, while the madman was scrambling around on my windshield. About to call security. I thought, what the heck? Maybe today we'll take a risk. Ah, let's go ahead and do it. Let's just see. Holy what? That's a really good film. We're going to have to shelve it for now, though. Because I don't have enough people. And I can't do everything all at once. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be the end of this first episode in The Hollywood Animal. We'll be sure to come back to this 100%. I'm going to do my best to get to it before the next fest uh, ends. We'll see how it happens, at least the recording, maybe not the video itself. Anyways, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave any comments in the comment section down below. You can totally play this during Next Fest, assuming this gets out by then. This is Havoc, and I'll see you in the next episode.